Well, in this video, I'm just going to discuss, you know, a social justice warrior's nightmare. And that, and it's the same nightmare for theists, especially creationists. And that is their number one enemy, science. You may ask why I have this cup, like I usually do. It's because, why be serious about anything? You know, why would you take my video seriously? I'm just an idiot speaking. Nobody is taking my video seriously, but I'm just saying, you know, why would you? And, you know, but the thing is, though, about, it's just amazing. You, you can Google, you know, science is sexist. Science is uh, racist. Check out the hits you get. I mean, a feminist is a, it was a, you know, a blog by a feminist. It says science is sexist and bad because it's not authoritarian. You cannot just give your opinions. It's not opinion oriented, you know. And that's the same reason why creationists, you know, hate science. You know, science, uh, please Google peer review, how to do peer review. Uh, but do you have, uh, yeah, I mean, do you have, to, in order to do peer review in science, it's very difficult. And also, you can't just give exaggerated claims and lie because you're going to get caught during peer review. Then your reputation is gone and you're out of the science community. You're out of the scientific community. You know, you can say whatever you know, lies you want, make up things, you know, as a social justice warrior. And people believe your garbage. You know, take women's studies and all that stuff. You know your professors. You know, nothing they say they can really back up by actual peer review research. You know, peer review where your colleagues are doing the research, they see how you did the research, and they do the same research to see if they get the same results as you did. Think about it. You hear these feminists talking about the wage gap. You know, women make 66 cents on the dollar that men make, and then another one, 70 cents, 77 cents. Why does it keep changing? And why aren't those women suing? If that were true, why are they not suing? They have every right to sue because it's illegal to pay one person less than another. Because science is not dogmatic. And, you know, the peer review. And, uh, you know, that's why, you know, scientists in general, you don't get too many scientists involved in that social justice war, SAW garbage. They're not, you, don't, you won't see a, a, a two biologists or two physicists that are coming up, they're doing research on the same thing, the studies, one scientist, you know, comes up with, you know, something, and the entire scientific community, you know, goes through his research, goes through his data and says, well, you made a mistake here and here and here, so, you know, you need, need to redo this. You will not see that biologist or physicist getting upset cussing them out, spitting on them, and trying to get them removed of the, out of the scientific community. You will not see that. Oh, we're being persecuted. They're racist, sexist, or, or they're just against me, and this and that. You won't see that. You'll see that with social justice warriors. They, they will do things to you if you disagree with them. You won't believe. They turn on each other. Scientists do not. Science is above the theists and above the social justice warrior nonsense. And of course, these people that chase out their balls, these athletes, uh, actors, especially Hollywood actors, I don't know why they may think they're better, but they're not, you know, I don't know all of them think that way. A lot of them seem to think they're better than everybody, they're elitists. Why? They're not. A stage actor, that's, you know, more pure acting than a Hollywood actor. Even an actor that's on soap operas. Athletes, I give them some. I put athletes above Hollywood actors because at least that requires skill and some training. But there's no skill or training required. I mean, there's some skill, but there's not a whole lot of skill or training to be in Hollywood. So they can act like social justice warriors and make their little comments. Have you ever noticed these social justice warriors tend to come from money? And they won't tell the rest of us how to live our lives? Interesting. You just get, and science, you know, they don't, you got to back up your claims. Or you can really, really screw your career up. And it happened with women's studies or any of that stuff. And, and, it's, and, and the three... The, thing about social justice work, if you want to know really how to tell someone's a social justice work, 
is when they want to shut someone up because they're, you know, well, mansplaining and, you know, that woman, Democrat, I don't know if she was, I'm not a Democrat or Republican, but anyways, you know, I think she was, I don't know if she was a senator or a representative, whatever, it doesn't matter, but she, all of a sudden, and, yeah, we whites need to shut up, you minorities, we should let you speak, and we whites, have, you know, basically they think white people have no right to talk about anything, there's no such thing as a poor white person, and men should shut up, and white people should shut up, and, you know, basically these are the Hitler types, the Stalins, these are... These are the type of people that are responsible for things like Stalin and Hitler and the reign of terror and all this crap because they put one group above another. Same as a racist and a sexist. Yes, they are racist and sexist. It's just because they believe that since they're racist and sexist against whites and males, it's okay. Those type of prejudices in science will get you booted out in a heartbeat. But not so as a social justice warrior. Theists don't really care for it, and that's another thing. That's the difference. That's another thing. Theists and social justice warriors cannot stand having their beliefs under a microscope. How do you weed out bad ideas if you aren't allowed to discuss them? Think about that. I mean, we have a huge amount of crime in the black community, all right, but no one's allowed to discuss that because it's racist. It isn't really because black people are more prone to crime. It's their reasons for it. And we got to look at the reasons. That's why one of my videos of where I'm running for president, which I'm not actually, but if you do vote for me, I mean, I would take it seriously. I can't be worse than Donald Trump. But that's why I mentioned I would decriminalize all drugs. I didn't say make them legal. You know, speeding is not a criminal offense, but it's not legal. And I discussed it in the video, so I won't discuss it here. That's where science comes in. You allow science to figure these things out. And of course, social justice warriors do make some science claims. There's more than two genders, there's thousands of genders. No, there's two. There's X chromosome, Y chromosome. So there's only two genders. Yeah, but there's some of you have XXY, YY, XXXY, you know, Kleinfelder syndrome, Turner, Turner syndrome, and all those. Syndrome. I have a degree in molecular biology and biochemistry. Okay. And I've heard one woman saying, well, this guy is an embryologist, and he's saying there's two, more than two um, genders. Okay, that's a scientist, so I, I give credit that you're mentioning a scientist. Now, show me the peer-reviewed article that he wrote that was peer-reviewed by other scientists where he stated that. Guarantee you he won't dare publish something like that. Guarantee you that. Because his career will be over. I don't care if a person is as famous as Albert Einstein. Even Albert Einstein's theories are still under scrutiny. Uh, Isaac Newton, Charles Darwin. You know, creationists, they like to attack Charles Darwin for, you know. They'll attack him and say, well, science is no longer except this, this, this. Yeah, that's because science is self-correcting and we change based on new information. Some theists and social justice warriors do not do. We accept the fact that a lot of things that Charles Darwin says was wrong. Many things Albert Einstein, a few things Albert Einstein and Isaac Newton thing said turned out not to be completely true or completely wrong. I'm not a physicist, so I'm not going to speak on those two scientists. All I can do is talk about biologists and only in my field. Just remember, social justice warriors... Not all, every social justice warrior is disgusting and deceitful and evil and mean-spirited and Hitler-like. Not all of them. The problem is, though, you have the subset of feminists and all these others, Black Lives Matter, that are just nasty. Now, every majority members of the Black Lives Matter movement are friendly, they're decent, you can have a decent conversation with them. Same with the feminists and all these others. Majority of them you can't. But there's always that subset. And they are the ones that make the loudest noise, and they are the ones that basically will destroy us if they get a chance. Same with theists. And please, and please stop giving Islam a pass, okay, and calling it Islamophobia when people speak on Islam. When they build a mosque, you know, they always build a mosque in lands they conquer. That's why they wanted to build a victory mosque where 9-11 happened. That's why Saudi Arabia 
offered to build 200 mosques in Germany when they were accepting those Syrian refugees because they considered it as conquest that they're allowing all these Muslims into Europe. I mean, you can look these up. That's why I keep telling people, always read history books. Learn history. There's so much stuff to learn that you can learn for yourself. Ask your, if you're in college, ask your professors. Go to the library. Well, thanks. And remember, science is the best path to true new knowledge. It is. New knowledge. And, you know, not truth, but knowledge. And that knowledge, remember, can change. That's the best thing about science. It changes with new information. And scientists do not mind new information. And that's the problem theists need to realize when they talk about evolution. Okay, if you can disprove evolution, please do it. You'll get yourself a Nobel Prize. Not only will you get yourself a Nobel Prize, you'll get yourself several million dollars. Not only will you get yourself several million dollars, you'll be a celebrity to other scientists. You will make millions. Not only that, you'll be making millions for scientists because now you gave them a lot of research to do. Because now they have to throw out this theory that they supported for so long. Not believe, but supported. Never say, I believe that in this in science. As always, I support this theory because it's the most current model we have that explains the data that we have on this subject. But you will have overturned evolution and add so much more money. And the government would be more than happy to provide the money because, you know, everybody wants to know about life's origin. And just because evolution, you proved it false, does not mean that there's a God or... Maybe God does exist, and now we can try to find out about this God. Good luck on that, though. Good luck in disproving evolution. Good luck uh, for your women's studies instructors and all these others, you know, proving your little theories about how bad men are and all this stuff, you know? Those of you who think men are so evil and white people are so evil and we're responsible for all the world's problems or Christians are worse. I'm not a Christian, I'm an atheist, but Christians are worse than Muslims and all that stuff. Good luck on proving that. Uh, especially when someone picks up a history book and sees what the Muslims did into Europe and Africa. Good luck. Science is superior to ideology by far. Always has been, always will be. Music and art superior to ideology. Superior to sports and sports is superior to Hollywood acting. Hollywood acting it's so far down the ladder, I put it, it's just slightly above being a preacher. Bye.